Hi, welcome on my Linux Mint 18 Zara Cinnamon computer. We're going to show you how I made Arc Dark Paper. So you're looking at the result already. So we can make any color. We can change the Arc theme and change it to any color we like. And when you have a preference for an icon theme, then you say, wow, why can't I have the theme in the same color? Conky in the same color and all that. So we have a uniform and consistent look on our desktop, which we are looking at all the time. So how should I do it? You go first to, um, well, maybe I'll just show you how it looks here as well. So this is the paper look. This is what we get. This is what we get. This is what we get. All right. As you can see, it is already been fixed. Why do I know that? Because none of the icons are missing. And some of the icons do, uh, are, are really missing, but that is explained in another movie. They will figure it out. They will, they will show you in a movie how to get these missing icons there. But this is not about the paper icon theme. This is about the arc theme making it paper color. Okay, fine. So how should I proceed? I want to have this arc theme. You go to the GitHub of Eric Dubois. By the by, this is still open here. This is the place where you can install uh, the paper icons just by clicking a little script. What you do is you go to the GitHub of Eric Dubois. We have now 54 repositories and this is one for changing the mint Y to any color you want. And this is changing the arc theme to any color you want. So it's both from Horst and they both similar. But it's another, start with another theme. So this is the arc colora theme. Colora just meaning there are 16 million colors. Pick one, change it. I'll let you read all that, but let's get to the code. So how should I proceed? Install this one, control C. Control Alt T, paste, install Git. Why Git? Well, it's quite easy, and I really recommend you learn about it if you want to share information with others. So we have this. Then it says, okay, you can clone. It's a command. You can clone, get everything that's online, and put it on your own computer. That sounds very interesting. So a very fast way to download and unpack it's completely a copy an image a mirror it's now the latest version all the beta problems uh, that are fixed and things like that everything is now here on my system what do i need also i need the one from myself the scripts so the one we downloaded here on top here is from horst himself the arc theme his box and his improvements are all now on my system and the bug fixes i mean of course so the arc theme colora and the theme both of them are of course necessary the one will the, for the scripts will change the one in the arc theme you go to the place you've downloaded it so it's in my eric folder i'll just put it in here in the desktop folder so you see it here and we see it here we saw only these two so to rec recapitulate this is the original horst files this is my way of changing these files okay step two get all of them and i've made another one a fifth one just to make my life easier Control c go to the art team and put it in there control v because the scripts will look for um, a file a specific uh, sorry a folder a directory and the directory is going to be common yeah now you have to do the following just uh, one moment Okay, let's go on. 
So I was saying that we have to copy all these five here. Now we're going to figure out what color it should be. I advise you GPIC, but there are other tools on other systems and other distros. But find something where you can get the color from our paper icon team. And as you can see, I've done it already twice here. It's called the Botticelli color, this color here. How do I do it? I just move on one of these places and like, let's say, place number four here. You go to the color and I always go to this one. Why this one? Because this one becomes lighter. Not a good do, thing to do. So this one doesn't change color. I hover over it and then I press spacebar. Again, a third one. Right mouse click, copy to clipboard, clipboard and then this. So it's now in the system, somewhere in the memory, and then you go to change color, display, and then you scroll down to this one, this line, new color one. What color do you want it to be? Control V. Remember to get rid of the hashtag, otherwise you'll get two hashtags in the code and things go wrong. Control S, it's saved. Okay. Next up, the well, what we'll do now is going to run it. We're going to run the change color. There is some echoes and explanations inside of the script, so I'm gonna show it like this. <coughs> One. All colors in the folder common are still the original blue ones from GitHub. Change your color that will replace the blue online uh, line or with the tools like GPIC. So sudo opt install. Everything is now changed. The blue is now dark paper bluish. I don't know how we call it. Let's just call it paper color. And then we do the second one. We're going to delete the assets. There are other movies that explain more in detail what's all inside. Let's skip that this here. Let's, let's skip that here. And then three, making the assets is going to run everything. Install software that is maybe not installed yet. And now it's going to make all the paper-like icons we're gonna need. What are icons we're gonna need? For instance, this here. This will be uh, created now as we speak. And all the other icons as well, like this one, this one, that one. So all icons that are kind of paperish color will be created now. And this is for me the time to drink my coffee. Okay, run scrap, script number four to install the themes, it says. Yes, I will. So, dot slash four, final installation. It's going to compile everything and make the theme. Now, uh, you will have to, well, I've made a new script, so I'm going to change the text here. And the script next up is making my life even easier moving the theme so we have the theme now at one place and we want to get it somewhere else so the moving the themes is going to change it and copy paste it to the personal folder themes as you can see here and it's going to get out of there why well, well, let's see what happens, and then you'll know why. It's also, of course, explained on the GitHub. Let us rename the folders so they're unique. Your name will be added after Arc, Arc Dark, and Arc Darker. So that's we, what we get is a standard name. And what we will need later on, maybe, is we want to get the original Arc as well. So. This is now been overwritten since the script is shown only made on, on one way, one specific way, and that is to name it arc, arc dark, and arc darker. So this little script here, what does it do? You just type in the name, like paper, and it will be renamed arc dash paper and arc dash dark dash paper and so on. And it will move it at the same time to your personal 
space and your personal space is the home directory themes and here you have it let's look for it let's just search it there are too many one of them one moment let's continue so i did a search in my themes and as you can see i have here three new folders and they are called arc darker dash paper and so on so the paper has been added behind the arc not only that if you open every of these index themes it is also renamed properly so it's also called arc paper and here and here everywhere there is this name change included it's not so important for us guys at cinnamon linux mint but it's much more important for the xfce guys okay so in the end what do we get we could we, we get a selection let's <laughs> close up a little bit so you go to your their um, theme manager and then you have to select the new theme which I have already selected as you can see the art dark paper paper and you select there are three ones uh, three uh, kind of uh, uh, looks so I always use the art dark paper but that's a personal choice so you can use also art darker paper so let's change arc darker paper arc darker paper and arc dark I'm looking over it oh yeah there is no arc darker paper but there is only an arc dark paper so this is the look you get when using this one and then this will be all in white and um, that's all there is to say I think you can use the theme now and it is your own personal theme there is there is always one last thing to say you have now copied the icons from one place to the other they're not moved meaning it's still in there so in the themes folder user share themes you still have the original ones if you really want to say no I want to have as well the original ones no problem we have this little github and we call themes icons pack you can download them here as well on github and when you download them you can have a script and it's going to be called icons oh no sorry theme arc colora is the one uh, this is all the things we made but themes arc late is this one so if you run this one run in terminal and then follow what is doing is going to write and overwrite all the ones in your actually themes this one will be back again the blue one quickly check light assets switch like you see it's the blue version of the arc that you're having back if you just say i don't want either of them don't want all of them so then you go to open as root for instance that's one way to do it and then you just select the ones you don't want delete be done with it there is also a terminal way and that's on the github okay have fun using my arc colora <laughs>